This is the Blast Wave Effects and Soundminer demo video. We'll show you how to search through Tidal Wave, the Imaging Elements Library, using Miniminer. <laughs> to get started, we first need to create a database within Miniminer. Go ahead and open the program, and then drag the folder where your audio files are stored directly into Miniminer. It will automatically scan all the files and create a searchable database referencing the SoundMiner metadata embedded into all of Tidal Wave's audio files. This could take a few minutes, considering there are over 10,000 sounds in Tidal Wave, but you'll only have to do this step once. Once your database is created, then you can customize your interface. I'm going to hide the source field since we don't have any metadata for that, and add the category field. You can drag the columns to resize and easily reorder them. So I'm displaying the file name, description, duration, and category. Miniminer gives you numerous ways to search for your files. The most basic way is to type in a search term into the Find field. You can also navigate over here to the Information window and search within fields. When you click on one of these fields, it'll return all of the records that match that criteria. So it's telling me that this sound is from a library called POP. So when I click this link, it'll return all of the records from POP. Now I'm going to lock off my search return by clicking on the padlock icon. All searches from now on will only give you results within POP. This allows us to narrow down our search without having to keep a bunch of words in the Find field. To audition, double-click on any record. It'll display the waveform below, and the green scrolling line will let you know which part of the audio file it's playing. You can also see that if I hover over one of these records, the entire description metadata will pop up in that yellow box. A nice feature if you have long description metadata. Let's turn the volume down a little bit. Now let's check out what shimmery pixie dust sounds like. By clicking on top of the duration column, you can reorder the results so that the shortest ones are at the top. And now the longest ones are on top. As we audition these imaging elements, you'll notice that the ones we played become grayed out. Miniminer keeps track of the sounds that you've played and stores them in the play history. Click on the clock icon to see your play history. Before transferring your files to your editing platform, set your sample rate and bit depth in the transfer section of your preferences. I usually work with film, so I'll set it to 24-bit, 48 kilohertz. To transfer, you can use the green send arrow, or you can drag and drop directly into your editing platform. With Pro Tools, you can drag and drop directly into your timeline. Let's make a new search. Unlocking it will return all results. And now let's search for a good glitch sound. One of the libraries in Tidal Wave is Buzzsaw, which has a lot of electric, distorted sounding glitch compositions. Don't forget to clear your play history. Select a sound. And now I'll show you something really cool. If you set your in and out points so it highlights just a portion of your audio file, click on the little hand in the corner and drag it to the desktop. This will copy just the part of the file that you highlighted. From the desktop, simply drag the file into your Pro Tools timeline. This is really useful if you're working with, say, a 4-minute composition, but you only need 20 seconds of it. Now I'm going to show you another way to keep a playlist of sorts. Go into your Preferences and select Use Checkmark column. Now, all the records that you check can be referred to in a separate list. Let's start a new search for Static Pulse. I like these three, so let's check them off and see if we can find a static pulse that has some vibrato. Check that one. And this one. And now under the check mark icon, select Show Checked. That'll display all the records that we checked off. Highlight them all and then click the green arrow Send To icon that will automatically copy all of those files into the region list. There they are. If you're wondering how I know that searching for shimmery pixie dust or static pulse vibrato is going to give me a bunch of results, you can refer to the BlastWave FX glossary found inside the Info and Demos folder on your Tidal Wave drive. This will define words from accent and ambience to warble and whoosh. 
you can use the Apple J key command to clear your search and start a new one. Remember that I've only just touched upon what MiniMiner is capable of, but this will at least help you get started. So have fun searching and listening.